Guys, uh, back out, that's what we do. I'm out with Loma Annie, as you might have seen uh, from the opening shot. Uh, we are heading to, I don't know if you can pick it out up there. I don't know if you can. It's like a giant pizza oven. Uh, so that's where we're heading to. Uh, Northumberland's nipple, uh, the giant pizza oven. For a camp, uh, it's, it's gonna get windy, it's windy now. Uh, it's, the Met says gusting at 30. I've got me anemometer with us. Uh, Blinking weather's glorious. Back, o back over east where I live. We, we, we sort of mean, and he's had this on my radar. Uh, we just thought, just get it done, because I'm away uh, on uh, an extended break soon across Scotland doing a bit of island hopping. So this will be my last video for about. Well, you've got a good few weeks unless I stick some little snippets up from on the road. Whoa, can't through the boggy bit. So yeah, uh, we're heading up to just under 600 metres. Right then, so this evening's pitch, we are this we had a uh, we had looking at the Spanish city type dome uh, up the hills of uh, Scott Thumberland, shall we say? It's blinking windy. I've just recorded 25 there, gushing at 25, and you'll all go, eh, that's not much really. I tell you what, uh, it shows your wind speeds with an anemometer, and then we'll discuss. Then we'll discuss what 25 feels like. 
There's War Annie in our little helm compact one. Uh, that is the tent she is uh, thinking about taking uh, overseas this season. Let's see if it'll cope with the winds of Patagonia. Looking beautiful there, it is looking beautiful. Obviously, because she's inside the tent. Right. <laughs> and Donna's out in. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, there it is. There it is. Donna's out in our invisible tent again. Uh, the most uh, unphotogenic tent in the history of uh, in the history of the world. <laughs> I love it, but then I don't. But then I love it. Oh, it looks great on the TFM footage, doesn't it? And this is me, eh? sitting like a nana, sheltering behind a wall up a hill. Actually, how eh? What nanas are this cool? Eh? My nana was cool, but she wasn't this cool. <laughs> Ah, so yeah, uh, up at this we had pizza oven <laughs> at the top of a, uh, is a, a nearly 600 metre hill uh, up the hills of, uh, of Scotland <laughs> in the middle of August. Man, you know, I'm running out of summers. I'm 57, I'm running out of summers. I've got to put up with this crud. Oh, it's coming, it's coming in, mind. <laughs> oh, but what an absolute stonker of a view! Look at that. That is beautiful. I'll tell you what, I've camped a lot of them hills. I've camped a lot of them hills. They got just lush memories, man. Ah, right, well, I need to cook and tea in that tent. She's asked us if I can take some pictures. I've had the, as I say, I've had the TFM up. Uh, it's been fighting winds. I mean, I was taking a wind speed, taking, I'm from New, I, I'm, I'm Newcastle Lake. I was taking a wind speed uh, just from yarning and that was tickling on 25. Uh, and then the TFM's been up there 100 metres. Uh, that's going to be a lot, a lot windier. It even got that windy, it just said that we, we couldn't return home by ourselves. It was unable to return home automatically. And I'm like, shit, where, where is it? Where? Where's it? TFM! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've had to bring it down and, and see if I can hear it. That's a lot of responsibility. It's like having a child again. Right, uh, I'm not our, 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 our chuffed with what's coming in, are we? It's not exactly flip flop weather, is it? <laughs> eh? Once more out again in four season gear. When is the purgatory ever going to end? I'll tell you what, hold on. I was on Instagram last night, because me and Annie were out last night, but we just had a van night, because I didn't finish work till half past six. The time I got up to meet Annie, it's sitting on half past seven. Uh, so yeah, and then I was looking at a couple of pictures on Instagram, and uh, Mick, hello Mick, all right, uh, Mick on the fly. Uh, not happy about your YouTube channel, mind. Uh, but I do understand. Uh, so Mick, uh, OTF uh, Outdoors, I'll stick a link down for his Instagram. He was. He looked like he was in Barbados last night in, in the part of Northumberland. He was. Uh, me and Annie was sort of shiver, sh shivering, cowering and hiding from blinking rain. Rain and full on clag where we were. He looked like he got a decent sunrise. So he yeah, possibly picked the wrong part of Northumberland to be in, or Scotumberland. Yeah, Coastal looked absolutely beautiful. But you know what? Uh, I, I've been looking at this place for years. Uh, chatting Annie about it, and she was, she says, well, I'll go and, she was up here a day before me, she says, I'll go and recce it. But yeah, it's a pretty neat place to uh, pitch a tent. Uh, it's not one of them ones you'll come back to again and again, it's just something different, isn't it? Something new, uh, and something original. Right, I better go and take some, take some food, I was like. Little D, little DVS reporting from, eh? Uh, 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 Northumberland's highest pizza oven. Just letting you hear there what it sounds like uh, without a wind muffler on. You're welcome. Like, and that's Annie in action, just modern. A helm compact one. So instead of the one guy lying straight off the back, she's uh, bobbing another two on there, on that one point, and pulling them both off to either side. That's a cracking good idea. Give that rear end just a little bit more stability. 
getting to go go test night tonight. Cause I'll be honest, them winds in Patagonia I reckon can get quite up. So there you go, that is Llama Annie in action. Fine scenes here this evening up by uh, Northumberland's highest pizza oven. It's my tent, I can't take a good picture of it, it's too bloody stealth. There we go. Flush. Oh. Putting loads of extra length on there because that's what you want when it's really windy, you want a, a long guy line out. You don't want a little short one that's uh, pointing down, pulling down. You want a nice little bit of give in there as well. Work with the tent. Move it, baby, move it. Work it. Oh, yes. Toodles. So I'm in my little tent and this will be the last uh, the last piece of footage before bedtime. I'm unsure what the time is, I think it's hitting on nine. Annie's in her tent, I'm in my tent. You can hear it's bluesy outside. Bluesy, that's a good word. So it's bluesy outside. Uh, I'll be bobbing a pair of earplugs in. Fingers crossed Annie's got her earplugs, uh, otherwise I'll hear her. Uh, cracking, crashing stuff around like pots and pans at six o'clock in the morning. Well, maybe I'm not if I've got the air plugs in. <laughs> it's a win -win situation. Uh, so yeah, it's been a lush night. Uh, if it had been the winds had been twenty miles an hour less, it would have been even even better night. <laughs> oh man, August, you've absolutely ruined me. I'm leaving up. I've got two pairs of socks on, uh, and I'll be sticking a down a down uh, body warmer on for bedtime. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring a cook kit up. A cook kit up. Uh, I wanted to save a bit of weight and bring an extra cider for to try and get, get Annie to drink in cider. Yeah, a bit like a cider pusher here, yeah? cider dealer. So uh, yeah, I didn't bring a cook kit up. I've got sandwiches. Oh, I suppose. Uh, sandwiches, uh, a bag of crisps, uh, and probably a little, a little chocolate piece for later. But I'll be, I'll be away to bed soon, about half an hour. Uh, what a place though, wow, what a place. Uh, it's just a shame about the bloody weather. <laughs> Shall we have a look over the window? I've not even looked out this window yet. Oh God, it sounds like play school, doesn't it? Eh? We'll have a look out of today's window is the arch window. Well, my window today is the uh, the triangular window. We'll have a look with it and then that's it, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll oh, probably not, because 
little uh, little minx there, uh, little lava, and he minx usually gets up really early and then just down the down the hill. Uh, right, but uh, I'll give you a look out there. It's been a windy one. Oh, I've slept some, but not much. Uh, it's just blinking noisy, isn't it? It's just noisy. It is uh, six, six, six forty. I think Annie's expecting us up in about a half an hour, and um, we'll just be we'll just be heading off here uh, as fast as fast as. <laughs> hey, what a lovely place to pitch a tent. Uh, see what Joffrey came up. Probably not come back. It's just uh, it's just one of those ones that you do, isn't it? Oh, free time. I'll probably catch you uh, catch outside of it. Where have you gone? Eh? White out. <laughs> ah, Annie, what time do you reckon it is? Seven. Seven? Seven. Right, uh, packed up in record time there. Didn't even have time to put the camera on. Uh, as you can see, the weather's closed in a little bit. Uh, see, I made those gusts last night. I was really comfy where I was, but uh, did you get much sleep, Annie? Oh, it took about two hours, did it? This morning, about uh -huh. Oh, and he's bragging there, she's got that much. I hardly had any slapper on me pillow. That means I didn't get much sleep. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, hold on. That's it, bear off. Toodles. Uh, right guys, I think I'll sign off here. Uh, it's just going to be a march back to the cars, really, for the next hour. <laughs> As Annie's just been taking some photos of that waterfall down there. Uh, this way it's not really a waterfall, just a lit. She likes taking photos. So yeah, uh, so I swear, thank <laughs> so I swear, so I swear. Thank you for bothering to press the play button. Uh, thanks for thanks for sticking with us. Uh, I'm off on an extended little jaunt over Scotland. I may try and put some little videos up, uh, just for the uh, little funny ones, just for the you know uh, keep you entertained while I'm away. Be nice to have a, uh, a last camp in Northumberland or Scotland, wherever we are, uh, with the llama. A good night as always. Uh, I'm getting into cider. Get in. <laughs> uh, and even this man, it's lush, isn't it? Damn me, it got gusty last night. Uh, that one was well over 30, some of them, well over 30. And you get all these, you get, well, not all these, you get some YouTubers putting wind speeds up that are just bonkers. If you want to see proper wind speeds, Tom Heaney Adventures. I'll stick a link down there. Uh, have a look at Tom Heaney and what he put his Yanu, uh, his Hilberg Yanu through the other night. Uh, crikey, wow. 
Right, uh, and he's on Instagram as well. I think he's Instagram down. Uh, well worth a follow, especially if you if you love tents and stuff. Right, I'm saying bye. Uh, thanks ever so much. If anybody wants to uh, bob any money in the buy me a coffee, uh, you will always get a shout out on the next video. Mike's been on a hike. Mike, thank you. You know what the money's going towards. A new, a, a new uh, shooting thing. A new thing to shoot this uh, moving footage on. So thank you, Mike. Thanks ever so much. Mike's got a little YouTube channel down there. He's out with Kerry Maskell, drunk on uh, Wanderlust in, uh, in Wales uh, this weekend. So I'm looking forward to seeing the video of that. Uh, right, I'll shut up. I'll get off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Uh, little D reporting from uh, Scott Dumberland. Toodles, see you in a bit. Toodles. 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 Thank you.